Your Excellency, Distinguished Briska, State Secretary, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Royal Norwegian Government, Professor Dr. Kassar Tanakwom, Chair of the EDC Board of Trustees, Dr. Nolene Hazer, Executive Secretary of the NSCAP, Dr. Kuti Kratikun, Executive Director of ADPC, Excellencies, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen. It is my great honor to be here to deliver the opening address to the high level commemorative meeting on the occasion of the Asian Disaster Preparedness Center's Silver Jubilee celebration. I wish to take this opportunity to extend my sincere congratulations to ADPC on its 25 years of success in contributing to the region's disaster preparedness and management. Before I proceed, may I first extend my deepest condolences to the government of Japan and the Japanese people on the losses and hardships they are suffering as a result of the catastrophic earthquake and tsunami. Let us pray for the people of Japan to weather through this time the greatest difficulties and grief. On Thailand's part, we have provided assistance in many forms and will continue to lend a helping hand to Japan in this time of need. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, a couple of weeks ago, while every part of the world was busy with helping Christchurch to recover from an earthquake, we were shocked again to learn that the tsunami had devastated the eastern coast of Japan. In the meantime, our friends in other parts of the world are suffering from other types of disasters, including those caused by armed conflicts and forced displacements. It is clear that in every onset of disaster, a certain degree of losses can be expected. And if we accept this, we must ask ourselves, how many lives and resources do we have to sacrifice for disasters, many of which can be prevented and mitigated? This is the reason why we are gathered here today, Certainly, we are here to celebrate 25 years of achievements of our partner, the Asian Disaster Preparedness Center. But we also expect to learn if our past and ongoing efforts, both nationally and regionally, and the kind support of ADPC and other international partners, will enable us to better tackle future disasters of all sizes and levels of impact. Like other developing countries, Thailand is accustomed to employing a traditional approach to the management of disaster situations. This approach is mainly focused on disaster response, provision of relief assistance, and recovery, with perhaps too little attention to preparedness, prevention, and community involvement. Most of the people who reside in repeat disaster areas usually consider such situations as an acceptable risk that they cannot change or prevent. However, since the deadly Indian Ocean tsunami hit with overwhelming losses in 2004, Thailand has learned a lesson from experience. We've since shifted to a holistic disaster management approach and taken people participation into account. At the national level, we restructured related laws and regulations by enacting the Disaster Prevention and Mitigation Act of 2007, which is more oriented to the harmonization systematization of disaster management practices for stakeholders. Based on this new structure, the National Disaster Prevention and Mitigation Plan, effected from the years 2010 to 2014, was formulated and approved by the Cabinet to provide a strategic framework for action for stakeholders. Tsunami eva evacuation exercises and other disaster management exercises are also conducted every year. Moreover, to make sure that appropriate investment in disaster risk management is in place at the lower level, both disaster prevention and mitigation action plans have been developed and enforced. At the international level, in view of our limitations, we seek technical cooperation with many foreign entities, including AEPC, for knowledge sharing and enhancement of our disaster management capacity. Today, as we reflect on disasters, we see that the world is clearly being threatened by a virulent Asia and Pacific is an area particularly vulnerable to disaster, and ADPC had foreseen such a challenge and dedicated itself to serving as a linkage to strengthen regional cooperation. Thailand recognizes the ADPC's efforts in supporting regional organizations as Thailand's special contribution to the region's disaster relief and response efforts. 
during Cyclone Nargis in Myanmar, and you can see extended support, which helped make the response achieve its objectives. With ADPC support, various activities under the Thailand ADPC cooperation framework have also now become the building blocks for an ongoing development of disaster preparedness in our country. ADPC has also introduced a community-based disaster risk management approach to train local people to ensure their preparedness and involvement in diverting or encountering disaster impacts. Currently, we have implemented community-based disaster risk management training in more than 7,000 communities in risk-prone areas nationwide. And we will proceed with this effort until we have covered 26,000 communities. In addition, ADPC has organized emergency response training courses for Thai officials that have become the guidelines for the development of the one one point search and rescue team. This team has played an important role in minimizing disaster impacts and fill the gap of emergency medical services at the local level. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, in times of transboundary disasters with an increasing magnitude of calamities, Thailand cannot work alone. A collective learning scheme for the region and multi-sectoral cooperation in disaster risk reduction are pivotal in building our region's resilience to disasters. Drawing upon past disaster experiences, we can identify three key areas of regional cooperation. First, the improvement of national disaster management system. After, after the wide impact floods hit Thailand last year, many fallbacks and challenges have been found. This includes a need for an accurate and user-friendly early warning system, a common approach to hazards, risk assessments, and damage analysis, and a tracking system for victim assistance and relief provision. We still have limited resources, especially the knowledge and expertise, to systematically and effectively handle large-scale disasters. Second, the development of an integrated effort at national, regional, and international levels. With disasters now becoming transboundary in nature, national preparedness with concrete and quantity support of regional and international cooperation will definitely safeguard our people and environment. It will also help the region to quickly recover. Disasters. Third, disaster awareness and cultural relation. It is important that an effective disaster risk reduction practice must be in tune with the fostering of safety culture in every part of society, particularly among the local community members, local authorities, and school students and teachers who have the capability to build, promote, and maintain a culture of safety awareness. Amidst the many challenges in disaster management, I am confident that we will make headway. The Thai people possess what we call Nam Jai, for a compassionate part and have utmost care of fellow human beings in times of need. And together with ADPC's many years of experiences and expertise, we will be able to effectively mitigate disasters. ADPC will continue to be an important partner for Thailand, working with the Department of Disaster Preparedness and Mitigation as well as for our countries. This high-level meeting is a reflection of our collective effort in strengthening regional coordination. It creates a synergy towards building a more secure and safer community, and importantly, on a sustainable basis. I expect that in the 26th year onwards, AEPC will be the leading partner in the region to facilitate and provide guidance for the improvement and integration of all efforts, and to make this region the Global Learning Center for Disaster Risk Reduction. Once again, I'd like to thank you all for your contributions and thank ADPC for the assistance extended to Thailand and to partner countries in disaster preparedness and prevention for over two decades. And I wish you all the success in this meeting and in the years to come. Thank you. Thanks for
more resilient. Norway enjoys close collaboration with the NPC within the area of disaster risk reduction. I am very pleased that our Ministry of Foreign Affairs has a partnership agreement with the NPC on joint efforts to promote new initiatives at national and regional level in Asia. The main focus is on capacity building for national organizations responsible for disaster risk reduction. This collaboration is also part of the Norwegian government's policies for improving disaster preparedness and supporting other countries' preventive measures, including emergency preparedness. The People's Republic of China, Vietnam and Bangladesh are priority countries for Norway for partnerships on disaster risk reduction efforts. And we had a breakfast meeting this uh, morning and uh, I was encouraged to learn about the achievements so far. ADPC has been instrumental in implementing a number of concrete initiatives under our collaboration team. We need to focus more attention on the close linkages between climate change adaptation and disaster risk reduction. We were therefore very pleased that the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, IPCC, took up the idea of preparing a special report on the management of extreme weather-related phenomena. As part of the preparatory process for the, this report, ADPC hosted a very useful authors meeting here in Bangkok last year. This is an example of the important role of the ADPC and its cooperation with other actors. Experience has shown that preventive measures work. Look, for instance, to Cuba or to Bangladesh. Pre preparedness saves lives. Allow me also to draw your attention to the World Bank's recent report on the economics of prevention, where the conclusion is clear. Prevention pays if done right. ABC, with its vast experience in the region, is well positioned to play a significant role in disaster risk reduction in the coming years. This will imply improving preparedness both for the smaller, high-frequency disaster events and for the big ones. ADPC provides an inspiring example of how disaster risk reduction initiatives across borders can lead to fruitful regional collaboration and networking. To conclude, I wish ADPC all success in its work in the coming years. And on the behalf of my government, I want to assure you that Norway is proud to be associated with ABC as a strategic partner. Thank you.